So today I'm going to show you guys how to make a settings UI for your Roblox game using only Roblox Studio. Shop our unlimited access bundle to get all current and future assets. Check it out with the first link down below. Alright guys, welcome back. And um, as you guys heard in the intro, I'm going to show you guys how to make a settings UI using only Roblox Studio. So we're now going to be using Photoshop. I'm going to try to make this look uh, as best as possible using the studio tools that we have access to. Let's not waste any time. Uh, let's add a screen GUI, we call this settings and let's go frame and canvas. So we have a canvas, we're going to add a frame. This will be our main go anchor and uh, you're going to make this any size you want um, here I guess you just kind of have to eyeball it <laughs> as best as you possibly can um, I'm gonna go for a corner one two we're going to round off the corners here point one is too much point zero five that looks fine uh, let's add um we can add a grading actually negative 90 for the angle because i want to go for something like this okay perhaps this is a little too dark here i'm gonna go for like a slightly lighter kind of like this right here and this looks pretty clean. Uh, we can make the background transparency 0 0.05. So we have some transparency on our frame right here. All right. And the next step for us is we're going to add, we're going to add a text. Uh, where is it? Label. And we're going to, I'm going to anchor it, uh, X to zero actually. So, I'm gonna, move it up here I'm going to uh, background off we're going to uh, go scale and text color go for white go for like a slightly bluish white like barely off white uh, change the X alignment right here to left we go it's like settings you go bold and you can modify the font here if you'd like. Uh, Roboto right here. I'm just going to stick with this font. I think it's fine. Um, we're going to decrease the size. And we can add an icon actually if you guys want. You can look for a cogwheel icon. Alright, so I have imported a settings icon. Right here, I'm gonna go ahead and paste. Move our background, and we can scale and decrease the size. I think this is fine. Doesn't have to be anything uh, unusual. Um, let's add a frame. We're going to close our close and make this a button. So I'm gonna go convert right here, reclass, and add a nice little corner. And right here, basically, you can change the color. So right here, a little brighter if you want. Um, we can add a stroke. And this, for a close button, you want it uh, a little big so it's easy to click and access i don't know why this apparently i didn't save this show color but okay uh settings copy and paste drop it right in here change the x also put the text here boom right there and that is our close button uh corner i'm gonna actually increase this 2.2 i think that is better for us all right so this is what we have thus far 
this is looking pretty good okay so next we shall add a scrolling frame and this will house our actual settings panels so let's move this like right i'm trying to match it up with the uh little icon um let's drag this out increase the size let's go center we can change the color point nine for transparency uh you know call this con container we're going to add a frame and for the frame we're gonna go uh, for the frame anchor point we go for zero and 0.5 I think we're going to add a list layout frame we're going to drag this out oops I think this should suffice okay this will be our template add a corner as well of like 0.1 um okay something very minimal uh, i'm gonna go hide the background here because i'm going to change this color let's also add ui padding because this is misaligned so i'm gonna go for top 0 0.0 now 0 0.01 Zero, zero, 005 okay so we have this um i don't know just gonna play around with the colors i suppose For the template here i don't know how this looks it's okay it's not bad all right it's not a big deal <laughs> let's copy the text and go for for example background music all right oops Make sure it goes like right here copy and this will be just the background music go bold off and also change the text color like so elongate this uh, text frame now we have our text right here in the center okay so for this I'm going to add a toggle so let's make a frame we'll call this our toggle and we're gonna go create the shape uh, it's really weird okay so here we're gonna add a corner boom zero uh, let's go point two point one five anyways let's make this darker let's go add a stroke two pixels and actually i'm going to copy and control shift b inside i'm going to go anchor i'm going to remove and delete these and this will be my parent container this will be inactive first frame let's go for knob copy and paste the corner once you resize our knob place it right here i can't really see that well okay and we're going to modify the color so we have something like this pretty good uh suppose it's a little large so let's resize just a tap it right here Boom. let's make sure we scale all these all right everything's looking good so far all right um 0 0.085 Alright, so here is our inactive. We're going to hit Control D to copy. We're gonna hide inactive. This will be our active. And now we're going to move the knob over to the side. And you can use the numbers, it's probably better, but uh yeah. 
Um, so change the color for this one. So active. And now we can copy the template. Add some uh, padding to the UI list layout. So 0.05. That's too much, 0.01. That is fine. Uh, perhaps a little bit too much. 0.005. 0.007. Okay. Background sound effects now. Adjust the background sound effects. Like this. And we can make this inactive. Boom. We can also change the scroll bar color right here as well it looks much cleaner like this as you guys can see all right so we can copy as many as we like and this will scroll let's make sure everything is to scale we go for uh, okay container scale main scale okay we have to scale all of these apparently. A little bit careless here. All the text objects as well. Uh, these real quick. Boom. Scale. Make sure we scale all these as well. All right. As you guys can see, this right here is our settings UI. I hope this helps you. Uh, this is more of like a minimal clean style. If you guys want uh, more stylized kind of designs like anime or like a cartoony style, I can also give that a try for you guys. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something. Check out our store, join our discord. And with that being said, I hope to see you guys in the next video. Take care.